Goku and the Z Fighters have finally arrived on Namek in hopes of using the Dragon Balls to revive their friends. But unknown to them, the tyrant Frieza had also come to the planet. Enraged by Frieza's many horrible crimes, the murder of Bardock, the destruction of planet Vegeta, and the senseless slaughter of his beloved friend Krillin, Goku's hidden potential has at last awakened. In an effort to bring back all those who lost their lives during the battle with the Saiyans, Gohan and the others traveled to Namek, the homeworld of Kami and Piccolo, in search of its Dragon Balls. But they were not the only ones who had learned of the Namekian Dragon Ball's existence. <laughs> Vegeta, it's finally time for us to settle our rivalry. Rivalry? <laughs> Here, let me show you something. What? How fast you can run away? I've learned to suppress my power level! So they didn't do that bad a job of setting up Vegeta's history with Kiwi here. But there's still a bit more to it. Kiwi had a really long rival with Vegeta, and uh, I believe it might have been in the anime only. But after Vegeta returned from Earth, I think he finally got permission from Frieza to kill Vegeta. So he was excited for this rematch. Kiwi was like, hell yes, I finally get to kill Vegeta and I've gotten stronger. There's no way Vegeta will be a match for me. And that's why it's important that Vegeta learn to suppress his power level. Because he surprised uh, Kiwi with a huge burst of power. And then Kiwi was like, oh fuck, and he died. I mean, there's a few things that happen in between the all fuck and the death, but not, but nothing that important, really. I'll break you. Simple tricks. Finish. <laughs> Pitiful fireworks. Vegeta had also journeyed to planet Namek in search of the Dragon Balls. The Saiyan Prince sought nothing less than immortality in order to challenge the tyrant Frieza for supremacy. How destroy him and become the new ruler of the universe! In the midst of all this, Gohan and the others sprang into action. And thus, a new race for the seven magic Dragon Balls had begun. Now, before Krillin said, come on, we gotta get out of here, what happened was Gohan kicked Dodoria through a building. And I'm assuming they didn't have enough budget to animate Dodoria getting kicked through a building, so they just left that out. You're actually supposed to lose this fight against Dodoria, but you get something special if you win it. So I retried it a few times trying to do that. It's way easier as Gohan, even if Gohan isn't leveled up at all, because one of his special attacks just, uh just completely breaks the AI of most characters. So when Krillin and Gohan ran away, they took a small Namekian named Dende, who's going to be very important later. But of course Dodoria caught up very quickly because Dodoria is very powerful and fast, being one of Frieza's strongest soldiers. After he catches up though, Krillin uses the solar flare to blind him, and he gets really pissed and just completely blows up the earth below. I guess it's not earth, is it? He completely blows up the ground below, and he's convinced that nothing could have survived it. But in reality, Krillin's just hanging out above his head, floating there. And Krillin's not an idiot, so they let Dodoria leave. Something else of note is that I believe when Vegeta killed Kiwi, Dodoria picked up Vegeta's power level, but he quickly dismissed it as a malfunction, because that power level would mean that Vegeta was stronger than Dodoria himself. And that couldn't be right. I mean, to Dodoria, Vegeta was still something of a joke. To Kiwi, Vegeta was still something of a joke. Now, if you're sticking with the anime's canon, this is a bit weirder because Dodoria knows that Saiyans grow stronger with every defeat. 
I mean, I think he was even the one giving the news to Frieza. I mean, part of Dodoria's character is being very arrogant. So maybe that has something to do with it. He's also very cowardly in spite of his arrogance. That's a really bad combination, you know? I guess he never thought that anyone would be stronger than him, so he had no reason to ever appear cowardly. No one would ever be stronger than him in combat. I mean, obviously he knows Frieza is stronger than he is. Tell me you're afraid. I thought you'd be eager to face me. The... The Vegeta! I recall the actual exchange between Vegeta and Dodoria being a lot funnier than that. Because Vegeta was totally smug and like, Hey! Hey, what's up, Dodoria? You remember me? Well, you're fucked now. Of course, Dodoria takes offense to this and gets really pissed and starts mouth-blastering Vegeta to death. But Vegeta easily dodges it, and Vegeta easily kicks Dodoria's ass. This is extra fun if you actually take Father of Goku as canon, because you know how powerful Dodoria is from his fight with Bardock, if you can call it a fight. So after Dodoria realizes that he's actually going to die, he tries to bargain for his life. He tells Vegeta that he'll tell him the secret of the destruction of his planet if he lets him live. And Vegeta doesn't think that deal is too bad. I mean, after all, what could Dodoria possibly do to hurt Vegeta, right? So, Dodoria tells Vegeta that Frieza destroyed his planet, and Vegeta is beyond angry. And Dodoria tries to flee, probably to warn Frieza about Vegeta, but of course Dodoria doesn't make it to Frieza. Vegeta kills him, like, immediately. And now Vegeta has twice the reason to overthrow Frieza. I mean, he already wanted to wish for immortality and was planning to overthrow Frieza anyway, but now it's personal. Thank you! Simple tricks. Finish! <laughs> 